All right, welcome to making a butterfly house. So the things that you're going to need that are in your kit should be four paper clips, four pieces of floral wire, two pieces of tulle, a um, cardboard square. Now this is not in your kit, but it is something you are going to need and that is masking tape. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take two pieces of your floral wire and you're going to twist one side of the ends together. So you're just going to cross them and then twist them. So then you have one long piece of wire. I'm going to show you that one more time. So you're going to cross the ends together and then you're just going to twist the end around the long piece. So that you have two long pieces of wire. Alright, the next step is to take your floral container and you're going to insert I'm going to insert the piece of cardboard in. Now it should sit fairly snug. Okay, then the next step that you're going to do is you're going to insert one wire, one end of the wire into one of the holes. And then you're going to bend the wire and fold it into the opposite. And you may have to adjust the top a little bit so that it looks like that. All right, then you're going to do that with the other wire. You're going to put one end in the opposite side and you're going to fold it over into the opposite side. So you're going to bend it. Oops. Until it goes into the opposite side. And then you may have to adjust, just give a good bend at the top. So the top should form an X at the top. Now if you want, you can put a little bit of masking tape to hold these together. Um, if you're going to use your butterfly house for a real butterfly, you just need to make sure that on the underside, if you use masking tape, not to have any sticky bits. Okay? So our next step is to turn this is to take your tool. All right, now you'll notice your tool is in a long rectangle. So you're gonna take your masking tape and you're gonna pull a stretch of masking tape. And you'll see this is the short end of the tool. So there's a long, then there's the short end. So on the short end of the tool, you want to attach a strip of masking tape, just like that. And then you're going to take your container on one side, and just under this lip here, you're going to tape your tool to the pot. All right, then with that same piece of tool, you're going to take the other, on the other side, you're going to take a length of masking tape. Make sure the tool is nice and flat. And again, on that short edge, you're going to put a length of masking tape. Okay.
and then you're going to bring the tool over the wire so the tool is going to go over the wire and then you're going to attach the tool to the other side of the pot okay you want to make sure that it goes over both pieces of wire so we're just gonna do a little fiddling here sorry about that okay so you have the tool going this way now you're going to do the exact same thing with the other with the other piece of tool but instead you're going to go this way because as you can see this open side we need to cover with tool so again you're going to take the short end of your tool and you're going to attach a length of masking tape and again on this open side you're going to attach it to one side and you're going to take the tool bring it up over the top just like that I'm going to again take the masking tape and this may be a little easier if you pull the tool and then just attach it right here to the board. So there you go. But now you have these open sections that we need to take care of. And that is what your paper clips are for. So you're going to take one of your paper clips and you're going to take the two edges of the tool. You're going to bring them together and you're going to kind of roll them. Okay, and then you're going to take your paper clip and you're going to clip the two sides. So let me show you that again. So you're going to take one of your paper clips, you're going to take the edges of the tool, you're going to roll them together, and then you're going to do a paper clip. And you're going to do that on all four sides. So each side takes a paper clip, the two edges of tool, you're going to roll them together, and then attach the paper clip. Now the reason we're using the paper clip is because if you did have butterflies in your house, you need to have a way to get them out. And this is one way you can get them out safely because you don't want to you can also just take the masking tape but if they're clinging to one side you don't want to um, just all of a sudden rip the masking tape off and everything goes flying because you have to be gentle so again we're rolling the tool and we're paper, paper clipping it closed this one's not wanting to paper clip closed Try this again. Roll it a little thicker. Paper clip it. There you go. And that should. There you have a place to hold your butterfly, but I wouldn't hold it for very long. Um, maybe no more than an hour or two before you, and then just let it go. Well, I hope you guys have fun. Um, if you have any questions, please contact the library. Thank you.